and I have uh, the pleasure again to be a guest of Albertina Museum. I'm here to have a little conversation of, with Elsie um, Lahner, that is uh, the curator uh, of uh, Kitarin uh, Art Show as well. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best I've ever seen in my life, more than 100 uh, works coming from all over the world, mm -hmm. private collections and uh, mm -hmm. uh, museums. Yes. Uh, tell us uh, something about uh, the works that you did uh, um, on this uh, amazing show. Mm -hmm. I did this exhibition together with Dieter Buchert, our guest curator for this uh, exhibition. He's an expert on Keith Haring, it's its, it's uh, fourth exhibition. And, uh, and this time, um, the focus of the exhibition is the alphabet of Keith Haring. So all the symbols he uses in his in his works, like the, the crawling baby, the radiant baby, the barking dog, um, all the dancing figures, um, the, the stick, um, the, the snake, um, and so on, the caterpillar. And we'd like to explain it in this exhibition. And which uh, will be has been the more difficulties in uh, um, in preparing these shows? I mean about uh, uh, delivery of the works mm -hmm. and uh, to schedule everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, as Dieter knows all the, the, the landers, um, he got in contact with them and he explained the concept. So um, landers need to trust us with their works and with the concept, of course. And uh, yeah, in this case, there are several works that were never shown before, like a very early um, drawing from 1978, uh, which is a highlight in our exhibition, as well as some other, some other works, of course. Albertina, along with your personal works, so you are giving to the community, Viennese community, mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, cultural service that is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw many, uh, m many schools coming mm -hmm. over, yes. and so you are totally dedicated uh, of, uh, about it, uh, inform with mm -hmm. your arts events. Uh, so, which are your main goals for the territory? The main goals for? For the territory and to develop art in the territory, in Vienna uh, environments. To reach everybody, in fact. Eh? Uh, yeah. It's important to have the kids here because they're the future. And it's lovely to see all these little kids coming here and getting the word works explained and discuss the works. And the older they are, the more they get, of course. And uh, yeah, they can explain it even better than some artists <laughs> do sometimes. Yeah, also because Kit Herring uh, is known to have a very democratic view of yes, art. So exactly. he wanted to show art so that, that art will become more accessible to anybody. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I think this uh, is uh, an help, an yes. important help, yes. uh, even if it's really quotated. Can yes. you tell us a few um, value of, uh, about uh, these uh, works that you are having here? The value? Yeah. You mean? Yeah, the money. No, I don't talk about money. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, but uh, sometimes, uh, you know, just uh, to uh, to know the value of what started with the, nobody mm -hmm. uh, was uh, looking about uh, mm -hmm. him as a artist as well, yes. and then uh, very young. Uh, uh, he, did this, those, he did those drawings, of course, yeah, those very early works, and um, he always had a problem with earning that much money. Yeah? So um, yeah, he did a lot of, of charity work, of course. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, he did a lot of, uh, for UNICEF, for instance. And uh, yeah, he said, "Okay, I'm earning money now with my works, but that's not uh, the main um, the main aim I had in mind." So his aim was to reach a, yeah, a big sure. audience, as you said, and reach them not only in the museums or galleries, but on the streets. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's discover some other corners of mm -hmm. these uh, standing shows mm -hmm. before uh, more people is coming in a few mm -hmm. minutes' time. Mm -hmm. So this is the first part, mm -hmm. the Austrian way. Thank you, uh, Elsie Laharner, the curator, Kit Harding Show, Vienna.